Hi, hi. I am sharing with you how I use Trillo to organize my blog calendar. Let's get started by grabbing the template I've provided for you, and that is in the Bloom Hustle and Grow resource library. And once you get that, you want to make a copy of it, show menu, more, copy board, make sure keep cards is checked, and then let's just name this blog copy and hit create. You, of course, can name it whatever you want. And now this is your very own copy to customize, and you'll see over here that the name has been changed. And I've already populated this with some lists for you. It goes from idea to publish. Um, so it takes the blog post all the way through. The very first list is inspiration clipped articles. And these are things that I've collected from the web just really quickly using the Trillo Web Clipper. And I have that right here for you. Um, there's a link to the Chrome extension so you don't have to search for it and you can install it right there if you use Chrome. And let's, let's see how that works. So here's an article from Buffer and I already have the Clipper installed right here. And then you search for the board that you want it on, so it's blog copy, and then the list that you want it go, you want it to go to. And so I just have inspiration clip. And you want to check attach the article right there. You can add your own description if you want. So if you know you might want to use this article on a blog post titled Branding 101. And hit add. And it shows up right here. So this is just a quick, easy way to save articles that either I'm doing research on a topic or it has inspired me or I think I might share it in a post and I can just um, save them right here without clogging up my more thought out ideas. So the next list is ideas and these are topics that I know I want to address on my blog. And this is where a blog post starts. And I have a template card here for you and I use this card every time I start a new idea and it just helps keep me organized. So let's copy this card. And let's take a closer look at it. So up here you can put, you know, your idea title, whatever it is. Um, I'm sure you'll change it later kind of as you refine your ideas. But just whatever you want to that captures your eye that you know that's the topic you want to be writing a post on. And then in the description, I have some areas that I use later as the blog post progresses. But a lot of times I like to jot in this area, maybe just ideas or things that I know that I want to include in a blog post. So maybe it's resources for branding. And let's name this Branding 101. And I have this article that I clipped, so I can either attach it down here in the comments using the attach card feature. And there it is, and I can link, I can just click on that to get the card to pop up. I, however, like to just reattach links that I've um, captured in this card manually because I kind of like it to be further up on the card and I find it easier to see and to use that way. And I'll show you how I do that, which it's nothing technical. It's just opening the link again, copying and pasting. And it's, oops. And attaching it back to the card. You'll see here it um, attaches up here, and I just find that much easier um, to find resources that I wanted to use for a particular blog post. But you can do it any way you want to. And down here I have some checklists, and again, these go as the blog post, these are used as the blog post progresses. So I have a blog post checklist, and you can edit this to your own process. So you add whatever steps you take 
to finalize your blog post as you move it along. I also have social media sharing. So this is to make sure I know I've scheduled in each of these areas. And then I have separate Facebook groups and Pinterest boards, mostly group Pinterest boards down here. And I actually name out whatever I'm a member of in these two areas. And then when I share it to that group or share it to that board, I check it off here. And it makes it just so much easier for me to keep track of where I'm sharing stuff, what I'm sharing, and what content I'm using. Now I want to talk a little bit about labels. So you'll see one up here. And I really like the color coding, and you'll see why when we um, move to the calendar view. So let's go to labels. And since this is on the list board, I have it checked as ideas. And you can name your labels whatever you want. So you can create a new label if you want, pick a new color, and maybe you want um, to know that something's a rough draft. But you'll see I have different labels there, and you can remove a label if you want, um, just like that. So you just click the check mark or click on. Super easy. So now I'm going to move over to the to the calendar view to show you kind of where those labels really come in handy. And I've created some fake blog post cards here just to give you an example. And you'll see green is published, orange is drafts, um, blue is ideas, red is scheduled. So that means it's coming up, but it's not um, public. The date hasn't come up for it to be published. So let's go to calendar. And if you look here, the cards show up in the calendar view, which I find just really, really easy to, to look at my calendar and know what blog posts are coming up and how my schedule looks. And it's really helpful here with the labels because then I know, okay, that one's all done. I don't have to worry about it. It's scheduled to post. It's ready to go. I know I need to start working on this one and I need to get on it because it's due the 16th. And then you just hit calendar again to go back out. Let's go back to the branding 101 card and add a due date there. So let's say I want it to be ready by May 25th and I'll just save it. And again, we'll go back to the calendar and there it is. So I love that feature. In each of these um, lists, I have a card at the top kind of describing how I use this list. And then underneath the description card, I am attaching some resources for you that I have found very helpful in improving my blog writing, improving my titles, things of that nature. For instance, in this one, I have the co-schedule headline analyzer, and it's just nice to kind of get feedback on titles that I'm thinking of naming a blog post and things of that nature. So in each list I have, and in that top card, I have some resources for you that I've found helpful in improving my blogging. And as I, as I progress the blog post, I move the card. So here, let's say I've sat down and I've actually drafted out a rough, drug, a rough blog post or, you know, it's almost ready. And then I always attach, I write my blog post in Google Drive and I always attach it here. That way I'm not searching through my ideas and being like, oh God, I know I wrote like five sentences when I got out of the shower, um, but I can't find that document. So that makes it really easy because every single thing that I need to complete the blog post is right on this card. It's attached there. There's no like, oh, did I put it in this folder? Did I put it in that folder? There's like 20 things in this folder. Makes it super, super simple. And so let's change this to draft and let's take these two things off. And then I always attach the blog graphic that I made for it because I find it so much easier, again, to look at things when they're more visual and it just gives a um, more of a more of a visual on the card itself, um, so it's easy to find. So I know, say I've already scheduled the blog post and I wanna go back and share it, and I wanna share it in this Facebook group or that Facebook group, it's really easy for me to go in and grab that, that link and to, to share it. So I'm gonna show you an actual card that I've copied over from my personal blog editorial calendar. 
So I put the short link here in the bit.ly link. And again, I have the graphic uploaded and I also link to the actual blog post. And in this case, all of these would have been checked off because it's scheduled to go. And then, you know, I would check these off as I um, shared it in those groups. The other cool thing is if you're using Trillo for your social media strategy schedule, you can also attach your blog editorial card for that particular blog post um, to your card like for a group so let me just show you so shiny new life is a facebook group i'm in so for instance if i shared this let's just say posted by five and i can actually attach what i posted so let's do trillo and i have like a million things okay how to organize there so i can actually attach that blog post card here and now I know if I look back on this card that in this group I've shared this post already. And again, I would go back here and I would check off Shiny New Life, just like that. Um, and well, I would have it would have already been moved to publish before I shared it um, on a Facebook group, but you get the idea. So I hope that you found this um, really helpful, and I hope that if you're using Trillo, you find it as um, helpful as I do, and it really has totally changed how I'm organized with my content and my flows much better, and I'm not scrambling around as much to find stuff to share in Facebook groups or on Instagram or whatever. Um, so it has really, really helped me, and I hope you find it as useful as well. Thanks!